Garden Reach Shipbuilders has delivered the third anti-submarine warfare shallow water craft to the Indian Navy in Chennai. Pakistan has revived the PNS Gazi name for its newest hangar-class submarine that was recently delivered by China, resurrecting a name that India sent to the bottom of the sea in 1971. Chinese state media has aired what appears to be a deliberately curated training clip, showing Chinese Air Force personnel analyzing a fighter versus fighter scenario, involving eight J-16 fighters against six Rafale aircraft, designed purely for external messaging. After a Chinese-supplied VT-4 tank of Thailand Army experienced a barrel burst in the ongoing Thailand-Cambodian conflict, multiple videos now indicate that a larger number of Chinese weapon systems fielded by Cambodian forces are failing under combat conditions. The RDO's light fuel rocket jet program, a strategic project to build indigenous liquid fuel ramjet propulsion systems that can power next-generation supersonic cruise missiles, has attracted bids from 15 domestic defense and aerospace firms. India is planning a multi-layered air defense shield known as Capital Dome for Delhi, integrating QRSAM, vertically launched short-range surface-to-air missile, and directed energy weapons to counter missiles, aircraft and drones. Building on successful 100 kg cargo drone operations, the Indian Army is moving to create a dedicated cargo drone fleet using larger vertical takeoff and landing drones with trials underway for 200 kg payloads and future systems aiming for up to 500 kilograms in high-altitude areas. The French Army is closely monitoring the RDO's upcoming trials of 120 km Pinnak Mark III, as France looks to replenish stocks depleted by support to Ukraine, positioning Pinnak as a potential interim solution. A highly realistic inflatable decoy of an Indian Air Force's Su-30 fighter jet was showcased at the Australian International Air Show, drawing attention for its close resemblance to the frontline fighter. The decoy is manufactured by Czech firm Inflitec Decoy, that is designed to mimic real aircraft in size radar cross-section and thermal signature. A lighter and more mobile advanced light towed artillery gun system developed by the DRDO will start internal trials in late 2026. If trials proceed on schedule, induction could begin around 2029, with potential orders scaling up to 1,200 howitzers. Following U.S. approval of a potential $45.7 million foreign military sale, India is preparing to enter final discussions for acquiring the Javelin anti-tank missile system with technology transfer and local production. Bharat Dynamics Limited has already signed an agreement with the Lockheed Martin Raytheon Javelin joint venture, to explore joint manufacturing of Javelin missiles in India, potentially establishing a domestic production line tailored to Indian Army requirements. Russia has announced that its Su-57 fighter jet successfully completed its first flight with the new 160 kilo Newton is Delia 177 engine, which is much powerful than the 145 kilo Newton is Delia 177 S engine. The United Aircraft Corporation has confirmed that the is Delia 177 fifth generation jet engine is tailored for the Su-57 export variant which is being developed with specific requirements requested by potential customers including India. The new engine aligns with India's interest in certain engine performance specifications, making the Su-57E more appealing as an export option. This move indicates that Russia is not only advancing its domestic fleet with the Isdalia 177 engine, but is also tailoring a variant specifically for international partners like India. The Ministry of Defence has set a 2026 deadline for the gas turbine research establishment to certify the 49 kN dry cavalry engine, a key condition for the Cabinet Committee on Security approval of India's GATA Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle Programme. Larsen and Tubro has been named development come production partner, and while the airframe work is progressing, the dry cavalry still requires one final round of trials in Russia. If approved in 2026, the first Gartuk prototype is projected by 2029, with a maiden flight around 2031. Today's Top 3 Comments
Oh, Mark, drop it. <laughs>